Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Tuesday, April the 21st. This is going to cover the homework uh, from our lesson working with quadrilaterals. So I've kind of put some abbreviations and pictures in uh, to help uh, keep my uh, self on track while I talk through these. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So um, number two, we can see that we have matching sides here that are different from matching sides here, and we have four right angles. So we definitely have a rectangle, and we also are going to have a trapezoid, even though that's not the normal shape that we would think of. We are going to have a parallelogram because we have two pairs of parallel um, sides, and then we also have a quadrilateral because everything that we are working with, in a sense, um, is going to be a quadrilateral because we have four sides um, to our shape. So anything that has four sides um, is going to be a quadrilateral uh, for the purposes of what we're working with. So uh, number four, a um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> a uh, shape here. Um, we are just going to call it a quadrilateral. We can't say for sure that it's a square. We can't say for sure that it is a rhombus um, because we don't have any of the markings that show that we have even length sides. Um, number six, um, we have a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles. I'm not putting the marks for the right angles. So we could have a square, we could have a rectangle, or we could also say that we have a trapezoid. Again, this is the normal shape that we are going to refer to a trapezoid, but a square or rectangle could also count as being a trapezoid. Number one on the back, Joey is asked to name a quadrilateral that is also a rhombus. So our shape for a rhombus is going to be a square, but it's going to be tilted sideways. Um, so it has four lengths of the same side, but it doesn't have 90 degree angles typically. Um, so, um, the rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, um, so we could have a square for that. Uh, number two, a quadrilateral has at least one pair of parallel sides, but cannot be called a parallelogram. That would be our normal shape for a trapezoid. So this side and this side, even though they are the same length, they are not parallel. They're pointing in toward each other. If we continued these lines, past the end of the shape, they would eventually intersect with each other, and parallel lines will not do that. So those are the answers to our problems. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Um, you will notice over the next uh, couple days that you will see several videos in a row that I'm wearing the exact same shirt because I am recording a batch of uh, videos because my wife and I have appointments uh, that we need to go to on Tuesday and Wednesday. So. I will still be doing um, Zoom conference calls. I still will be available to answer questions in Google Classroom and be able to communicate with you all. Um, but I'm not. I'm going to preload all of my videos so the hours that I attend, I usually spend doing that, um, I can have to uh, do appointments and other things. So I'm working more hours today to make up for that. So hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.